Hello friends. So I'm going to talk to you today about Achilles tendon rupture. I think one of the most common uh, tendon to get ruptured in our human body, despite being the most strongest, is the Achilles tendon. When the patient comes to you, they would have a typical history. It would be a middle-aged man, what we call as a weekend warrior, who has not really been practicing a lot but suddenly decides to run for a marathon and do an ex intense running. They might have a sudden pull of dorsiflexion, a sudden dorsiflexion which leads to an increased stress on the Achilles tendon or a violent contracture or violent contraction of the Achilles tendon that might be leading to the rupture of the tendon. The other subset of the patients are those who might have a degenerative pre-existing tendinopathy. Those might have pain at the insertion of the tendon uh, for long and then a sudden give way leads to the rupture of the tendon. Most of the patients who come to you might have a fall, they might hear a snap and then after that they might not be able to walk but many of them would still be able to walk but would have pain at the posterior aspect of the ankle. Many a times it is misdiagnosed as an ankle sprain and that is the reason that you would uh, see a lot of neglected Achilles rupture. So when we talk about the diagnosis of an acute Achilles rupture, American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons issued clinical practice guideline. They say that a diagnosis of Achilles tendon tear can be made if two or more of these following examination findings can be seen. So number one is decreased plantar flexion strength. So if you attempt a plantar flexion of the ankle, it would be reduced. Second thing, presence of a palpable defect in the Achilles tendon. So you try to run along the course of Achilles tendon and if you find a palpable defect, that also goes in favor of the Achilles rupture. Number three is a positive Thompson test. What is a Thompson test? You squeeze the calf of the patient and you look at the ankle. And if the ankle goes into plantar flexion, that means there is a continuity in between the musculature of the gastrocnemius or gastrosoleus and the Achilles tendon going all the way to the insertion. If there is absence or reduced plantar flexion on squeezing the calf, that is a positive Thompson's test. And number four is a resting dorsiflexion of the ankle when you are examining the patient in the prone position. So if there is increased dorsiflexion in the affected side as compared to the normal side, that means there is a disruption in continuity of the Achilles tendon. This test is also called as Matel's test. So any two or more of these four findings would suggest that the patient has an Achilles tendon rupture. So always look for the recommendations by American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons when you are examining for Achilles tendon rupture. Thank you very much.